y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing swatches, creating some looks, and sharing a review with y'all on the new Jade and Beauty Bay palette. This is a 42 color palette. I'm pretty sure they call this a color palette, not an eyeshadow palette, because I don't know here in the U.S. if all of these are approved for the eyes, but I'm going to be using these shades on my eyes. I cannot wait. You have a huge mirror in this palette. This palette retails for 40 US dollars. That's what I paid for it. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's a rainbow palette. I want to test it out. I want to create some looks. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, huge new eyeshadow palettes. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload a lot of new videos every single week. So if you are looking for new fun makeup content, this is the place you want to be. But I can't wait to share looks with y'all. I mean, look at this colorful look. I I'm going to show y'all how I got this look, but let's jump into it. I did order this palette from Beauty Bay. A lot of times Beauty Bay has different like discount codes and coupons that you can use. So check out their site. They'll usually have them listed there. But this is a collaboration palette between Jade Thurwall and Beauty Bay. So again, this is $40, which I feel like for 42 eyeshadows is a really, really good price. It says, this is inspired by Jade's passion for astrology and spirituality. It's a bright color story in the Ba Beauty Bay's iconic, blendable, long-lasting, and intense pigment formula. It says there's mattes and shimmers. It's vegan and cruelty-free. So, I have several palettes from Beauty Bay. I do have a Beauty Bay playlist if you want to check that out to see my thoughts on some of their other palettes. But I'm hoping this is the formula that I know and love. We're going to create looks, but look at this beautiful packaging. It's like got this glitter on it, but it doesn't feel glittery. The moon is raised though, so the packaging I think is very nice. Like I really like this. Jade, her letters are raised, so I feel like this packaging is, is really, really nice. I'm going to show you a close-up of the inside of the palette. Shout out to Beauty Bay for packaging this palette so well because when I got the palette from FedEx, it was busted and only one shade came broken. The shade that arrived broken is this one right here, but... It was just a little smashed, so I was able to press it back in there, no big deal. But FedEx, it looks like they played soccer with, with my box. It was pretty damaged, but thankfully Beauty Bay had this like inside of a box bubble wrapped. So I'm very happy with that. This color story I think is so pretty. It's a, I mean, it's a rainbow palette. Okay, let's talk about the color story. A rainbow palette, Roy G. Biv. We've got our reds, our oranges, our yellows, our greens, our blues, indigos, and violets. So it's a rainbow palette with some neutrals. I think the tones are really pretty, so I can't wait to play with it. I'm going to give you my full review at the end after I've tried the looks. I'm going to be testing these shadows with different eye primers. I always like to do that. I like to mix up my eye primers so I can see like are they going to work on any type of eye base. I'm going to be using different brushes, different techniques, all of that. This is going to be the first look. So let's try it out. Again, I'll show you my looks and then we'll do the review at the end. So let's jump into it. Okay, to start off this look, I'm using my P. Louise M -M -M Mitchell Acid Rain Base. It's not their normal eye base. This one is called Acid Rain, and it's a little thicker. Well, it's a lot thicker, and it's more dry than their normal base. I really, really enjoy it, but whoa, let me heft this big palette up here so I can show y'all what I'm going to use. I'm going to go into this matte shade right here. This is the shade 2222. I'm going to make sure I don't have any creases in my eye primer 
and I'm going to pack this on. This is like a neon shade. So the brush I'm using is a little bit more stiff. It's a M433 from Morphe. So with this neon, I chose this lighter color base. Like you can see, it's way lighter than my skin tone. But I'm just going to pack this neon on. I'm just going in with a little bit at a time so I don't get a ton of fallout. But I'm going to pack it all over. And then when I have it built how I want it, then I'm just going to go over the edges lightly with these bristles. It's not necessarily stiff, but it's not very flimsy. And the bristles are not super soft. They're a little scratchy, but in a good way. That's going to help me blend out this shadow really nicely. Okay, we went with the green, and now we're going with the blue. Oh, this royal blue, it's so beautiful. As soon as I opened the palette, I just was like, blue must go on my eyes now. So I'm gonna pick this shade up. Okay, this shade is called Northern Star, and I have it on a BK Beauty 202 brush. And I'm putting this on the outer portion of my eye. This blue and green are going to blend so easily together. So I'm just kind of taking it like this. I would call this green. I think some people would call this yellow. And it is definitely like a yellow green. But they're going to blend together so easily. So I'm just going to make sure I have this how I want it blended. Remember with blues to always give yourself a little extra time to blend and work with it but like I always say y'all we are not here to be perfect we're here to have fun with our makeup so as long as you're blending and having fun that's great but if you don't get it blended perfectly who cares nobody literally nobody just have fun with your makeup Okay, for the lower lash line, I really kind of want to mix two colors because I like this purple a lot, but I want it to have a little bit of this purple in it. So I'm going to mix both of these shades. So the two shades are called Soulmate and Daydreamer. I'm picking them up on a 204 from BK Beauty and... This is just going to go on my lower lash line. Yeah, I like the shade these made. It's just, it's not quite as light as Daydreamer, and it's definitely not as dark as Soulmate. So I'm going to blend this kind of down low. Uh, you probably noticed I'm looking a bit tired today. So why not just like make all the attention on my eyes and not on my under eye bags? <laughs> Do you ever have those days where you wake up way earlier than you need to wake up? I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, I can go back to sleep for another hour. I'm so tired. But the sleep never came. The sleep never came. So I know I'm looking a bit tired today. So we're just going to we're going to bring the purple down a little bit lower and blend like this. All right, now I'm going to take this E25 from Sigma, and I'm going to go into this shade right out here, this hot pink. I am going to put down a bit of a glitter primer from Lit Cosmetics on my lid because I want to make sure I don't get any fallout, and this is a like bright, intense shade. So I'm going to pat on that glitter primer, and then I'm going to tap on, what's it called? Love? Love Aura. All right, I'm just going to look down while I tap this on. I think this is going to be a really pretty contrast between the yellow green, the blue, and the purple on the lower lash line. But I'm just patting it onto the glitter glue. And then once I get it on how I want it, I'll go back and I'll just lightly blend. Okay, I am loving the way this outlook is, is coming together. And I want to go into this shade right here for the inner corner. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm taking this and I'm going to put it right there. Look how intense that is. 
whoa, I like it. I did not expect it to be this intense. I mean, I know y'all are watching. Y'all are like, why not? We already saw the swatches. So you saw the swatches. At this point, we're like traveling back in time in this video. I have not done the swatches. I'm actually not going to swatch this palette until I get get done using and doing all the eye looks because I want like I don't want to have like any ideas in my head about this palette wow that's pretty it is time for me to put on mascara and lashes yes I'm gonna do lashes this look is like <sighs> fruity pebbles meets fruit loops crazy town and I feel like I love it and I want to do lashes so I'll do that and I'll be back all right y'all this is my finished look what do you think I'm super into it I feel colorful I feel fun I feel bright it's just overall a very fun look to me I'm wearing Sigma Paramore lashes I will have everything on my face linked down below but I'm wearing the new BK Beauty kindness lipstick with uh da, 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 what do you call yourself warm spice lip liner i do have a lip swatching video of all the new bk beauty lip products over on my instagram but what do you all think about this look i'm into it but let me be quiet and we'll jump in to the next one okay for this look i'm going to use my be perfect eye primer and we're going to do a very neutral look so i'm going to take this shade right here and I'm gonna put it from a lash line to crease okay so I'm taking the shade tarot and I'm just gonna pat it all over my lid right lash line and up so I'm gonna pack first and then I'm going to lightly blend and this is an R105 from what's up beauty not a pretty shade like very warm toned but still neutral okay so there are three of these kind of cream bone type of colors in the palette so I wanted to swatch them next to each other because looking at it I'm like you three are pretty similar this one is darker this one's more yellow toned this one is more like neutral so they are different I'll, I'll give her that. I don't know if all three of these I would have chose to be in the palette, but this is Jade's palette, not Heather's palette. But I'm going to go in with this darker shade right here. So here, well, let me hold up the palette that I'm actually talking about. So this one, uh, this one, and this one I thought were pretty similar, but I'm going to go in with this one up top. So this is called Good Vibes Only, and I'm just going to dust over the top of the shade that we used all over just to kind of soften the edges the shade did I say it's called good vibes only and I'm using this with one of the ends from my Sigma Cinderella brush after that I'm gonna grab into this shade right up here this is a lunar beauty brush the shade is called what's your sign hun and I'm just gonna push this onto the center of the lid. I'm not going to bring it out. I'm just going to kind of bring it right in the center and up. And I'm just kind of dusting. I did not spray my brush with this shade. I'm just putting this on dry. It also be really good if you wanted to put it on with your finger, but I prefer to use brushes. And I'm just kind of flicking because I want the shimmer to disperse a little bit but I'm keeping it in the center like this. Okay, now I'm taking my Sigma E30 and I wanna go into this shade up here. It's such a pretty like mm, red brick type of shade, but still like a bit grungy. This shade is called Angel of the North and I'm gonna put this under my lower lash line, just dragging it back and forth. Now, for the inner corner, I want to go right in here to Milky Way, this kind of white to pink type of shade. And why not just use this big old mirror? It can stand up on its own, basically. And I'm going to tap that right there. So, some ways I turn, it's going to look more white. Some ways I turn, 
it's going to be more pinky. I'm going to put on some eyeliner. I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. And then I'll come back and we'll see how everything's coming together. All right, y'all. This is my finished look. Very easy. Very simple. But I like it. I still think it looks really pretty. I used... Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk on my lower waterline, Patrick Ta eyeliner up top, and then I lightly smudged it in with the black shadow from this palette. My lips are BK Beauty Warm Spice Lip Liner and Passion Lipstick. So that's how I finished off this look. I would love to know what you think about it. Again, very easy neutral with a little bit of warmth on the lower lash line but yeah what do you think of this one okay y'all i have my eyes primed with mac paint pot today as a primer and let me lift up this big old palette again we are going to go in with these shades right down here a lot of times i know that these big palettes can be really overwhelming but the way this palette is laid out is really nice. I feel like if you, one, you can go row by row. I also feel like you can go column by column and get a pretty look. If you want to say like, okay, I don't know what to do with this palette. I'm just going to stick to this column. I'm going to play with these six shades. Maybe that will be more manageable for you. But I also feel like if you take this in quads, it will be easy. Like these four shades right here would be beautiful together. Or these four shades, just sometimes breaking it down can help me. And I think I want to stick with kind of these shades right here. I may dip into some other shades, of course, but I'm feeling very inspired by this corner over here. So we're going to dip straight into this shade. So I'm picking up the shade Chakra on my E40 from Sigma. I'm going to make sure I don't have any creases in my primer. And I'm going to put this shade all over, not just the crease. So the crease is right here, but I'm also blending up and out. I like to blend up with my deep set eyes because sometimes I just want them to look a little more open so I'm just gonna blend this in the crease and then you can see like way above the crease not up to the brow bone but all in here okay next I'm going to take this this is an E45 from Sigma it's more pointed and I want to go into this olive shade this shade is called Orion and I want to actually keep this right in the crease okay so right in here I'm definitely not blending it up high like I took the other shade I want it to stay right in here it's gonna be lower and I'm just blending like this back and forth back and forth right in the socket Okay, now I'm going to take this brush from a Melt collection, and I want to go into this shade right here. Oh, I just think this collection of shades is so beautiful. So I'm going to pick this up. This is just kind of a smaller, tapered blending brush. With this shade, I'm going to put this right out here to deepen up the outer corner. This shade is called Capricorn. And it's really kind of a cool toned brown. And I'm not going to take it up as high as I took that first kind of neutral shade that we went in with. But I'm going to use it to deepen up this outer corner and kind of create a nice gradient in through here. But again, I'm not taking it up as high as that first shade. Okay, now I'm going to take my E55 from Sigma. And I actually want to go in with this olive shade. Like it looks mm, like a grungy money green. I don't know. What is, what's the name of it? Mother Earth. Okay. I am going to spray my brush. Whatever makeup mist I have laying around is what I use. I really like to spray my brush with shimmers no matter the brand. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to pack this on the lid. So I'm not going to put this all over the lid. I'm going to 
packet like this and I'm gonna keep it a bit low because I want those mattes to have their moment. A lot of times I'll bring up my shimmers like almost to the crease but I'm gonna keep it low just on my lid so just a little bit. You can see I'm not bringing it all the way in. I'm just gonna bring it in about this far because I want to use a different shade on the inner portion. So I'm grabbing my dual ended brush that came in my Sigma Cinderella set. It's a, what do you call yourself, E54. And whoops, here we go. I want to go into this shade right here. So beautiful. This shade is called Zodiac. And I'm going to put this on the part of the lid that I left blank. Again, I'm keeping it low. A lot of times with my shimmers, I'll bring them up high but I want this to just stay on the lid. And when I get to where the two colors meet, I'm just going to flick my brush like this so that I kind of have a nice transition and it's not a line between the olive and this kind of teal color. Okay, I'm taking a pencil brush in E30 from Sigma and I wanna go back into this shade that we used in the outer corner. So I'm just picking that up and I'm gonna put this under my lower lash line. Again, this is the shade Capricorn. So I'm going to put it under my lower lash line like this. And then I'm just gonna kind of flick it right out here so that it blends well. So this look is kind of neutral but also colorful. <laughs> I like how it's kind of like earthy tones, the colors we use, the olive and the, the blue and green are kind of, like they're, they're still very like earthy, aren't they? Okay, now I'm gonna go into this light blue shade. This is an Odin's Eye, what's it called, FR6. This is called Head in the Clouds. And it's going to be a matte inner corner shade. I feel like the lid is so pretty that I want those colors to be the shiny part of the look. So we're doing this matte inner corner, but it's this really fun blue color that I like. So I'm blending, but I'm also kind of packing because I want it to, like, I want it to be a blue inner corner. I don't want it to be like, is it blue? Is it kind of blue? No, it's blue and you're going to know it. Now, I'm going to just skip lashes. I'm going to do some black eyeliner, my Patrick Ta eyeliner. I'm going to throw on some mascara and I'll be back and we'll see how it's coming together. All right, y'all, this is my finished look. I went in with Too Faced Killer Liner on the lower waterline. And then I just used my Patrick Ta liner on the upper lash line, threw on some mascara. I'm wearing one of the new BK Beauty lip liners. I'll have it all listed down below for y'all so you can check it out if you're curious. But I want to give you kind of my final thoughts on this palette. I love it. I love it. This is the same great quality that I know and love from Beauty Bay. This is exactly what I expect from Beauty Bay. And if you wanted a rainbow palette from Beauty Bay, mostly mattes with some of their fun shimmer formulas, check this palette out. I know Beauty Bay has like all matte rainbow palettes and they, ha they have a lot of different palettes. They have a lot of options. But this palette is great. I mean, $40 for 42 shades, I think is a great price point. Again, I love the packaging. I feel like this looks so nice and fun and cohesive. And I love this huge mirror inside. Like, if you wanted this to be your mirror, this is a really good quality mirror. I like that we have some kind of duochromes. You know, this is a white to pink. Some of these golds have I don't know if I would call it a true duochrome, but they do kind of shift a bit. Like, they're, they're very special. I love this eye look I created. I hope you enjoyed all the looks. I love this palette. Like, honestly, I want to create so many more looks with this. Like, I look at this palette. I feel inspired. I want to play. I want to create. I want to create with all these colors. I just...
I like when palettes inspire me and this one definitely does. So I'm so excited to have this in my collection. I will have everything I talked about linked down below for y'all. But if you were waiting for my review, Thank you so much for watching. I had fun filming this. I hope that you are having a great day. Whatever it is you're doing, make sure you subscribe because I'm coming to y'all with lots and lots and lots of new videos. I've got them planned. They're coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And I will see you next time. Bye.